Hello and welcome to NBC Update Channel today. In this video, we are going to take a look at the F-16 SFW, a proposed variant of the F-16 Fighting Falcon with backward wings. Yes, you heard that right, backward wings. Why would anyone design a fighter jet with such a strange feature? And what are the advantages and challenges of this concept? Let's find out. The F-16 Fighting Falcon is one of the most successful fighter jets in history. It was developed in the 1970s by General Dynamics as a lightweight, agile, and versatile aircraft that could perform both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. Since then, it has been upgraded and modified many times, and it is still in service with 25 countries around the world. But in the early 1980s, the same team that created the F-16 had an idea to improve its performance even further. They wanted to reverse the direction of the wings, making them sweep forward instead of backward. This would give the F-16 SFW, or the F-16 with swept forward wings, several advantages over the original F-16. The advantage of forward swept wings is it allowed the aircraft to fly at higher angles of attack, which means the nose can point higher than the direction of flight. This would improve the maneuverability and agility of the fighter, especially at low speeds and high altitudes. It reduced the drag or the resistance of the air on the aircraft. This would increase the speed and range of the fighter, as well as the fuel efficiency and payload capacity. Forward swept wings would delay the onset of wingtip stall, which is a loss of lift and control that occurs when the airflow over the wing separates. This would enhance the stability and safety of the fighter, especially at high angles of attack and low speeds. It helps in improving the stealth of the fighter by reducing the radar cross-section and the infrared signature of the aircraft. This would make the F-16 SFW harder to detect and track by enemy sensors and weapons. So with all these benefits, why hasn't the F-16 SFW become a reality? Well, the answer is that designing and building a forward swept wing aircraft is not easy. It requires overcoming many technical and structural challenges, such as wing twisting, flutter, and stress. Wing twisting is a phenomenon that occurs when the aerodynamic forces on the wing cause it to bend and twist. This can affect the lift, drag, and control of the aircraft, and can even lead to structural failure. Forward swept wings are more prone to wing twisting than backward swept wings because the center of pressure is behind the center of gravity. This means that the wingtips tend to twist upward, increasing the angle of attack and the lift, which in turn increases the twisting force. To prevent this, the wing needs to be very stiff and strong, which adds weight and cost to the aircraft. Flutter is a phenomenon that occurs when the wing vibrates due to the interaction of the aerodynamic, elastic, and inertial forces. This can cause damage and fatigue to the wing structure and can even lead to catastrophic failure. Forward swept wings are more susceptible to flutter than backward swept wings because the center of pressure is behind the center of gravity. This means that the wing tips tend to move forward and backward, creating a positive feedback loop that amplifies the vibration. To avoid this, the wing needs to be carefully designed and tested, which adds complexity and time to the aircraft development. Stress is a phenomenon that occurs when the wing is subjected to external forces that cause deformation and strain. This can reduce the strength and durability of the wing and can even lead to cracks and fractures. Forward swept wings are more exposed to stress than backward swept wings because the center of pressure is behind the center of gravity this means that the wing roots have to bear more load and torque than the wing tips, creating a high stress concentration. To cope with this, the wing needs to be reinforced and strengthened, which adds weight and cost to the aircraft. These challenges are not insurmountable, but they require advanced materials, technologies, and engineering solutions that were not available or feasible in the 1980s. The F-16 SFW project was started by General Dynamics but it never reached the prototype stage. Instead, DARPA, or the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, chose another forward-swept wing design, the Grumman X-29, for its experimental program. The X-29 was a technology demonstrator that flew from 1984 to 1991 and proved the concept of forward-swept wings, but it was not intended to be a combat-ready aircraft. The F-16 SFW project was revived in the 2010s by a private company called Aerojet Rocketdyne 
which proposed to build a modified F-16 with forward-swept wings and a new engine, the company claimed that the F-16 SFW would have superior performance and stealth than the F-16, and that it could be a cost-effective alternative to the F-35. However, the project faced many uncertainties and risks, and it did not receive any official support or funding from the U.S. government or the USA Air Force. The F-16 SFW is an example of how aeronautical engineers are constantly experimenting with new concepts and technologies to improve the performance and capabilities of fighter jets. The F-16 SFW could be a game changer for the future of air combat if it ever becomes a reality. But for now, it remains a fascinating and elusive idea that challenges our imagination and curiosity. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more military content. And don't forget to leave a comment and share your thoughts on the F-16 SFW. Do you think it's a good idea or a bad idea? Would you like to see it fly or not? Let us know in the comments below. And until next time, stay safe and stay informed.